the book itself is not very weighty to the hand, but the topic is very weighty. Making the decision to remove both breasts will never be easy for any woman. And that was the choice Marcia Skirvin made after her stage one diagnosis. But she is learning to soar and mending her broken wings. Good morning and welcome to Smell Boy. Thank you. This welcome comes with so much love. It comes out of my heart because I can see that you are soaring at this Thank point. Thank you. And that is such a wonderful thing. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about your story. What was it like when you first got the diagnosis and where did you turn after that? All right. So... I always start the conversation. Thank you for having me. Um, good morning, Jamaica. Um, I always start the conversation up with self-check because I'm religiously a person who does the mammogram and self-check. Mm. So I, I started that way and I found a lump. On finding that lump, I immediately, something just shivered in my body because I'm coming from um, having both my parents pass from cancer. Mm. So immediately a lump for me does not mean nothing. Right. So I immediately um, went to the doctor the following day and we were, um, I was given a paper to do a mammogram and after the mammogram, it was not clear. It was not certain what they were seeing. And so they asked for a um, ultrasound. So this happens when you're not too clear on the mammogram, they always send you to do an um, ultrasound mm -hmm. because they want to be specific what they're seeing. Right. On the return of the, um, the ultrasound, I was asked to do a biopsy. I know in my mind, I'm like, yeah. okay, where are we going with Took this? Took you to that place already. It was already that place because I'm remembering my mom, she had breast cancer and I'm like, okay, so I'm, I'm at this place. Here I am, I'm the one now dealing with this. So um, after the biopsy and I was told with the diagnosis in the doctor's office, that my chapter um, one in the book mm -hmm. would mention um, getting the news and holding your breath. Mm. I literally was in the office. I had to bring somebody with me because I knew everything would probably just go through one ear and come through the other. Yes. So I had to bring a friend with me so that anything that the doctor spoke of and I missed, they would catch. Yeah. So, and, and I can recommend anybody going to, to, to the doc for, for uncertainty, bring a friend. Um, so I went with a friend and um, he was talking. I was looking at him. He was speaking. I, I could not hear. He, I, everything was just coming through one ear, coming out to the other. My friend said to me, you're holding your breath. And I'm like, oh, really? And I just recognize I'm holding my breath. I am literally holding my yeah. breath I, I was through reading the conversation. Just right at the front it says, however, yes. all my years of breathing practice went out the window when I was sitting in my doctor's office and the word cancer was introduced into conversation, all breathing seemed to come to a halt. Absolutely. And, I, and this is without joke. I literally stood, I literally um, sat there and I'm like, okay, okay. It's like in the movies when you just hear no sound, it's slow -mo. nothing. It's slow motion. And I just literally stood there and in that moment, I recognized, oh my goodness, these are something that I, and how my brain works. I'm like thinking about it and I'm so segmenting things that I need to jot this down because this is, this is really phenomenal. All right, so we stepped from there to the decision to just have a double mastectomy. How did you get from stage one to, okay, I'm just gonna get rid of both? So I looked at the, the SWOT analysis of my life and I look at all the contributions that I've made over the years. I've been in um, NGO, I've been um, youth at risk from 19. I was one of probably the youngest J um, JP in Jamaica. I remember when I was in my 20s, I've been constantly contributing and I look at my kids and that for me- Because you're a mom of three. Absolutely. And that for me was the deal breaker because my last child, she's four. And I'm like, how could I not make the most educated, the most analytical decision because I want to be able to to have the fruitful life that I desire all the things that I've worked for um, during the period of, the, of that time till now certainly when we named the book Broken Wings myself and my daughter um, it meant yes you got broken but you certainly can fly after Definitely. and so I thought about it and speaking to some of my friends they were like you know what you're a brave girl because I would not take off one and another in the chapter it mentioned about women loving their breasts. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's, a, it's the what essence, makes you a it's the essence of being a, Exactly, and I'm thinking about it and I'm like, okay, but you know what? This does not really define who I am. Definitely. It goes back to the authentic core and I'm starting to think that, you know what? Sometimes these things are what we have to just introspect and yeah. recognize that beauty absolutely is skin deep. Amen. Absolutely. So you made that decision, you went through and 
that your last chemo treatment was in December of last year. That's right. So right now you're rising above it all. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and then the book came about. Yes. So you just jumped in and put all your heart and soul absolutely. and all the information and all your feels, yep. as they call it these days, into this. I did because I start writing that book um, immediately when I was on sick leave. I started mm -hmm. literally on my, my recovery bed. Um, when I did the surgery, I started putting pen to paper. I got some, um, you know, a writer to help me in terms of putting things together when I, I could not. Um, and I start putting thoughts to paper. What really sent, sent it out for me is when I, I got an invitation to speak um, in Florida a couple of weeks ago. And when I spoke on, the, on several issues, I brought 25 books with me and I came back with none. none. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my God, this is a story that requires telling. Yeah. Because a lot of people, when things like this happen, they think it's the end of the world. Yes. And certainly it is a tragic, it is a chronic, it is a serious, serious issue. Issue. It's nothing that I take very lightly. I might be enjoying, you know, and being light about it, but because that's how I deal with it. But it certainly is a heavy topic. And if we can find persons when they're going through to make decisions quickly, mm -hmm. sometimes we can avoid it. We can avoid because yeah. sometimes it's the decision process that's the delay. Right. Uh, the prevalence of cancer in, in not just Jamaica but worldwide mm -hmm. um, leads us to, to make a lot of decisions about our lives these days. And Absolutely. So, um, this is inspirational to people who are going through it, Absolutely. to people who might possibly go through it, to people who are friends who are going through it. Yes. I would say it's not a long read and it's something that I think everyone should go through, especially because of the prevalence of cancer. Absolutely. Right now. I, I commend you. I Thank lift my you. hat to you. Thank you. You are like one of the heroes that we need to honor. And Thank with Mother's you. Day coming up, I hope your kids make it absolutely uh, special. Thank you. It's and a I'm special glad you're mother. around to see another <laughs> absolutely. one. Absolutely. And I specifically made it a light read because the topic is already heavy. Yes. So I made it a light, friendly read so persons could breeze through and got, you know, get some ideas. Wonderful. So I, I, I'm in awe of you. Thank you so much for thank stopping Thank you for by. having and me. And thank you for writing it. Thank you for being inspired to write it and your journey will mean so much to all thank of us. You. you must keep us posted because we're going to be with you along the And way. persons who need to order the book, connect your dots at live.com. You can always send me an email. You get it. It's going to be in some of the pharmacies mm -hmm. and it's going to be online in two weeks. Okay. So, so two weeks, where can we get it Amazon. Online? It's going to be on Amazon. So you know, everybody these days, it's just Abs a click away. So that's the easiest thing yep, to do. Yep, and Kindle. So you, are, you are her, guys. Mm -hmm. You can get it in two weeks online. But before that, you can get her Connect your dots connect at live.com. At live.com. And in some specific pharmacies. Author of Broken Wings, transformational coach and cancer survivor, Marcia Skirvin. Woo! That's it for Off the Shelf. We have news in five next with Yvonne. Don't go anywhere. Wow.